So they're closing Stitch's Great Escape as if it wasn't closed already. What do you think should go there, Amy? Anything? Anything at all? Here's what it shouldn't be. It should not be the little character meet and greet that it is with Stitch. You can put that literally anywhere. Assuming that Tomorrowland is looking into the future and not just into, um, I don't know, Monstropolis, because why is that there? Or Buzz Lightyear toys? I just, why are they there? I don't know. Assuming that we're actually looking into the future and that we want a Disney IP, I'll go that route. Why don't we put something Wally? Wally? Ooh. Oh my god. I love Wally. That's like one of my favorite movies. And it's in the future, which is Tomorrowland, and it can send an awesome message. But I think we need to rip out all of Stitch's Great Escape slash uh, Alien Encounter. Um, yeah, are you, are you going to use the... Uh the original theaters i am not no we're ripping all that out we're getting rid of the column in the middle the circular seating i haven't thought through exactly how this attraction should go because i just thought of it two minutes ago <laughs> when we hit just before we hit record <laughs> um <laughs> your idea is wally <laughs> yes um but i think it should it should be like an a recreation of the movie kind of where you're on the axiom and you're trying to chase the little plant specimen and everything and eventually you go down and you land back on earth and you see recreating earth and planting all the plants and everything it should have like a positive message but still be fun so i don't know can we just do the whole movie can it just be a theater where we just watch the whole movie that is a lot to accomplish in a very small theater space (laughs) just sit in the theater for two hours (laughs) Watch Wally. I just so I don't want it to be like a dark ride where you move through. It will have to be simulated. But how? So I don't know. I don't have a fully fleshed out idea, but I would really love to see Wally incorporated in Tomorrowland more and Stitch just get out of there. He doesn't belong in Tomorrowland. Yeah. And neither do the monsters and Buzz Light. I just Sorry, I love Stitch as a character, but I don't know. That's my half of an idea. Do you have a full idea? <laughs> uh, I have about three fourths of an idea. Okay, that's better than me. <laughs> I would like I would like them to do an original attraction. Um, I, my best idea for sort of an original attraction would be like maybe do Journey to like Saturn or something. They did Journey to the mm-hmm. Moon and Journey to Mars in that same spot previously in Tomorrowland. Okay. Uh, or maybe even go big and go to another galaxy journey to another galaxy but i would like uh it could be in a theater maybe i don't know how that would work but i'd like them to recreate that somehow and make it like a space station where you blast off and uh and you see another planet i think that'd be cool I or like that. oh uh adventures through inner space bring that back from disneyland that looks like a great ride i miss that so you want to go the space route uh, yeah, I'm feeling spacey. I like that. Um, in the future, as Tomorrowland is meant to be, space travel is going to be much more achievable. And right now, the only space travel that we really have is Space Mountain. And there's no real story to it or anything. It's just a roller coaster in the dark with stars. And it looks nice, and Space Mountain is awesome, but like, we need some real visual space exploration. Totally. I am a little worried that Space 220 might be a little similar to this. And also Different Mission park. Space. Different oh, oh, what about Mission Space? <laughs> yeah, Mission Space is pretty similar. <laughs> okay, I forgot about Mission Space. Okay, new idea. You're... <laughs> You're an alien. <laughs> and you need to collect laughs. <laughs> I do love Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, though. It cracks me up every time. They're so good. It just doesn't fit. Tomorrowland, I don't know. Tomorrowland is just confused as it is, so. Okay, so you definitely want to keep the circular theater feel to it. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay realistic because they're not going to... I don't think they're going to put that much into it. Yeah, no, they won't. There's just not enough space there to put... Yeah, uh, they... Space. Uh, to put, like, a big crowd pleasing draw of a ride or attraction it doesn't there's just not enough room 
Because what's right behind it? Cosmic rays? Yeah, that building's like all cosmic ray. Yeah. And I don't know how far back the gift shop goes, but... Yeah, so they're really limited in space. That must let out in the gift shop, though, doesn't it? I don't remember. It's been so long. I think it does. Wally has uh, enough merchandise to fill a couple shelves. That's all I'm saying. Uh, original attractions also sell lots of merchandise. I know, all right. I'm just doing the IP thing because, you know, you're not. Try, trying to get a Disney job, I see. Well, I wouldn't say no. I don't know. I don't really have any ideas. This is hard. <laughs> I know, it's hard. You get like half an idea and you're like, this is amazing. Then you start talking <laughs> about it and you're like, actually, where, how, what? It's hard. Come up with an original attraction? Man. Regardless, whatever ends up going there in the future, way in the future, because it's like not a priority space at all, as they've clearly shown over the last couple of years, what should not go there is a character meet and greet. We can all agree on that. I you think know. I think it would be cool to do there's like adventures through inner space. If they could like do something like that where they shrunk stuff down. Did you ever see a right through of that? No. You like shrink down through a microscope. It's it's an amazing looking ride that got replaced by Star Tours of all things. Body in Wars? Disneyland. Star Star Tours. So is it Body Wars in space? No, 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 no. They it, it was a it was an Omni Mover ride like the Haunted Mansion. Oh. And it like you went through a microscope and there were like giant things all around you. It was really cool. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it was why really do, cool. Why do they get rid of these awesome things? Well, Star Wars demands sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Streets of America. So these were our organized thoughts on what should replace Stitch's Great Escape. Uh, as you can tell, we have many complete ideas. <laughs> if you have any third complete ideas, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Yeah, no, we would actually really love to hear your ideas because there's got to be somebody out there who has an amazing idea and they're going to type it and it's going to make me want to ride their ride that doesn't exist and will never exist, but I still want to hear about it. So let us know in the comments. Tap your magic band right to the like button. You know what? Scooch it over a little bit. Hit subscribe with it too. Why not? Notification bell. Ding. Why not? I should be wearing a magic band instead. I'm just pumping my wrist at the camera. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. We'll see you real soon.